the Prime Minister then, saying that the Prime Minister does not favor Subas. Mr. Speaker, I've heard them saying that again. And I want to repeat what I told them then, that when he was a Prime Minister, the person who was um, in charge of hiring people in this office and the staff, the Chief of Staff, is one Karoli Omondi, now Member of Parliament. The Assistant Minister in his office was none other than John Badi, a Suba, those two are Subas. And then there was also Kasuku, who was his economic advisor, Asuba, who was nominated as Asuba. Mr. Speaker, Silas Jakakimba was the person managing his diary, another Asuba. There are so many Subas that have benefited because of that, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I am talking about ethnic Honorable, balance, which has on, been mentioned in this report. You're on a point of order. Yeah, what is out of order? She's on fire. Well, we need to pull her down. What he's actually saying is that the former prime minister practiced nepotism or uh, tribalism by hiring people. All the people, as mentioned, are from the same region. And then she will stand here and say that uh, other people have hired people from the same community. Okay. But he's indicting the former prime minister that in his office, he only put people from Nyanza. Thank you, thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. He has tried, but I would yeah. give him two out of ten. In his attempt, he's not doing very well there. The former prime minister, not even former, is a prime minister because there's none that has been after him. The prime minister is a Luo and also related to the Luyas. He's Hon not a Suba. Honorable and Mili, therefore, Honorable Mr. Mili, Speaker, uh, therefore, Mr. Mili. Speaker, he Honorable. was not being biased. And you can find somebody like Isaac Mwamura. I was just giving the example of Suba. I can get into Kikuyu as well. I can tell you how many Kikuyus he appointed. I can tell you how many uh, Kalenjins he appointed. I can tell you how many Kambas he appointed. Don't joke with that man. Honorable Raila Molodinga has done well for this country. Even yourself, Owen Bayer, you got your position vis-a-vis -vis Honorable Raila Molodinga. And that is why sometimes you still wear blue, because in your heart you know you are very Azimio. It is just that because you know that this side is eating so much, you are also hoping that you can go and eat. But otherwise, you know very well that Honorable Raila Molodinga, there is nobody as fairer than Raila Molodinga. And I can tell you, I can tell you, Mr. Speaker, Honorable that this report... Diambo, do you want to be informed? No, I don't want to be informed. Honorable Mili Mr. Speaker, information, as you can see, Mr. Speaker, I am a lawyer with a master's from New York University. There is nothing you can inform me. I'm fairly intelligent and knowledgeable on issues of governance and corruption. And then I'm a ranking member, so I have a history of this parliament. I can teach you and educate you about things that have gone on and the things that are continuing to go on. And in finishing, Mr. Speaker, we cannot talk about corruption without mentioning that there is a government. The Inspector General can tell us that there are people who are trafficking in persons and he's seated in his office. Then why are you, Inspector General? You want me to be the one to arrest those people. Arrest those people, and then we can go to you with you to court on defamation. Jokers. Honorable, honorable.